Welcome to Monday of the Bearded Nomad Van Life. My boring life. <laughs> but it's the way I like it, I guess. Had plans. I thought I, I wanted to get up early and go do some crystal digging today. Look for, dig for some crystals. Figured maybe if I, you know, got some really nice specimens, I could get them cleaned up and sell them. But then I realized that I have nowhere to clean them because I don't have an apartment no more. And garden hose and buckets and the iron out and all that stuff. So, plus then I realized I don't have the extra funds right now to be driving all the way up north to my location where I like to go. I can't afford to burn a quarter tank of gas up and back today. Because what I got in full tank of gas has to last me till Friday. And I gotta be able to have to work. You know, I normally drive around for at least an hour or so to keep my battery charged up, my house batteries. So instead of getting up early this morning, I only went to bed here at like 3 a.m. or after here at this location, my second location along the creek that I like to park at. But so far, knock on wood. Knock on wood. I have not had any visits from anyone here as I have at other, at other locations I've parked. Even where I was legal to park. Huh. But, of course, I got here last night at dark, so now today, when I got up, all that flooding we just had from the remnants of Hurricane Ida or whatever the heck it was. This is my first daytime trip back here to this spot since the flooding. From the from the dirt on the from the water mark of the lime water lines the water was well let's just say my van would have been underwater if I was parked here when it flooded now I did come here when that Wednesday night and the water was up the road Almost to the end of that guardrail right there. That was Wednesday night. This creek crested it. Well, on Harper's, it was 18 feet. At Hershey, I think they were calling for 14 something. Which I know that goes. That just goes by the gauges there, the gauges and the elevation and everything for the creek at those locations. But here, the water was definitely, it was up past the bottom of the bridge. I'm not sure if this road over here was actually closed, if the water was flowing around the, over the road or not. My guess from the water line, from the water marks, it was definitely almost up to the other, the road at the intersection. Um, It was high enough that, let's see here. Okay, this, far, this farmer has this whole thing. This is all fenced off. And prior to the flood, there was corn in here. But there would not have been tree branches and stuff. That means that floated over. Wow. Jesus. Well, at least they saved the fucking... Looks like they saved the corn. They cut it down. They got it for... Did they save it or did they cut it just to destroy it? I don't know. Good question. 
Hopefully they saved the corn. Hopefully they saved the crop because this would have all been underwater. But there's wood debris over there. There's this here. Because this was all underwater. But that would not have gotten in there unless the water was higher than the fence, which it was, of course, by quite a lot. <laughs> and then, of course, Mother Nature mowed down most of these weeds. Funny how a couple weeds, how, how did a couple weeds survive the force of the water, but yet the rest of it is mowed flat? It's amazing, isn't it? Simply amazing. Now, there was a path at one time. <laughs> there was a path here to get down there. It washed away a lot of the dirt. There's no longer a path. It stops. stuck to the tree so the water was I mean <laughs> wow yeah the water was higher than the bridge here it had to be because the debris on the, on the fence man the power of mother nature it's amazing isn't it I kind of wish the water was lower up here now again like it was before all the floods and the rain. Could have done some, could have done some creaking here and sifting for, sifting through rocks. Look for some shark teeth or something or agates. But that's not going to happen. But, there was one thing that I found. Flooding, flooding may destroy a lot of things, but it all, it moves a lot of stuff. But the one thing that it did that I found here when I opened my doors today was an old an old red man chew tin from limited edition from 1989 now granted 89 may not seem that long ago to some but to think about it that was, this was back when I was, a, I was a kid. I was born in 76. And this had a bunch of matches in it. I dumped them in my trash, in my trash bag to dispose of them because they were all ruined from being waterlogged. Not, not a single match even had the, the, the match head on it anymore. They were all gone. So, dumped it out, wiped out the container. I have a nice, nice old red man tin. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Probably just put it in my storage for now and who knows, but. It's the things that you do in van life on a day off. 
I said, had other plans to wanted to do other stuff, but I don't know. I give up trying to plan stuff because every time I try to plan stuff, everything goes awry. All my plans are always my plans always are thwarted, thwarted again. I tell you, thwarted by that pesky known evil enemy nemesis of mine called being broke. <laughs> Which is kind of weird because, you know, I got into van life because I'm tired. I was tired of being broke and paying all that money. And yet, now I'm living in my van. A lot less bills and yet somehow, I mean, I know it's because there's still stuff that I'm getting that I need to get for the van. There's stuff that I'm getting, yeah. I mean, I, I know why I'm not, I don't have, I'm not far from where I'm going to be able to start saving money. I hope, unless some knock on wood, nothing, go, nothing major goes wrong with the van. But... coming in over there. I never noticed that before. Of course I. Oh, back is killing me today. Today is not a good back day. Probably a good reason that I'm not going digging. Yeah. <sighs> Right hip and sciatic are not, uh, are not treating me the best. Huh. Okay, so I haven't seen this before because the weeds had it all hidden. Uh, Corona extra bottle buried in the mud. Poison. Walking through poison. That's great. All right, so we have a drain pipe under the road. Boy, Mother Nature did quite the job of washing away the dirt around the tree. Kind of nasty looking, the fact that there's suds on the water. Ooh, there's... Let's go for a little exploration, shall we? Let's hope I don't run into any snakes. Or at least venomous ones. <clears throat> Wouldn't have been able to do this before with the weeds being so high, but... Huh. We got some graffiti, folks. Well, this just became not content for kids. <laughs> Which is what most of my... Fuck rapists, yes. I say hang them by their nuts, beat them to death. Murderers, child molesters, all the same. So what? We smoke weed, right? Nothing wrong with weed. Yeah. See now, and that one, fuck life. Hiking, 
I've been there, but I also know that life is precious. And you just, I've pushed through. And made it this far. I know I can make it. I can make my dreams come true. We're living in a simulation. How true that might be. Well, Mother Nature really did some depositing of... Depositing and washing away. It's amazing. All these years, it still amazes me to see the force of nature. What it can do. Middletown... Oh, my battery's dying. Great. You matter. You are loved. Yes. There we go. There's a message. There's the message. That's the kind of messages I like. You matter. You are loved. We all are. The middle town has... Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll have to go to Middletown. <laughs> uh, oh, and then we... Wow, oh, yeah. Fuck sperm donors. Well, that's a two-way street, ladies. You had to spread your legs and let them put it in there and let them put that sperm in there. So... Yes, I know a lot of deadbeat, deadbeat dads and sperm donors in my lifetime. But, um, well, in reality, it took two. You said yes, and you left them, you left them come. So, that's just as much of, uh, the message comes right back to you if for whoever's if you're thinking that you're just as guilty because you left it happen don't be so quick to uh, for you young ladies out there Don't be so quick to fall for some guy, you know, young guy's BS, you know. If they're young and if their swimmers are active, make them wrap it or get on birth control. It's pretty simple. But <laughs> well, this this video took a. <laughs> well, this is why, like I said, raw and unedited, folks. Raw and unedited. Bearded nomad. Bearded nomad is raw and unedited. Just the way it is. I'll get the mud off my boots. Uh. Yep. The water right here was at least six feet deep, if not more. Actually, probably eight feet deep. Whew. All right. Well, if this one gets posted and you see it, Just remember, we're all special and we're all loved. We need to be loved. Give love. Don't be afraid to accept love. And that and that goes for me too, because I know there are a lot of stuff I've been through in my life. It's hard to trust. I think you know, I feel like I want I want to be loved. I know. I know how and how I want love and the lifestyle that I 
chose to live so that I could have the most love possible, the free, the free love that we were intended to have, those connections, the deep love, that soul-twisting, soul-binding love. And even though it doesn't seem to be working out, just know it's okay to love and you deserve to be loved. Just gotta find you find the right people. The right people will come. The right people will all come together at the right time. The universe lets things happen to guide you, to teach you, just as it has me. So, love y'all, stay classy, and uh, spread love and peace. Let's fight for love, not hate. Later.